this may look like a medieval fortress, but it's actually the oldest prison facility in Kentucky, built in 1889. Locals often call the state penitentiary the Castle on the Cumberland. It houses Kentucky's only death row. Its execution chamber was used as recently as 2008. If this prison's walls could speak, they would have plenty of colorful tales to tell. That's because the state pen dates back to a time when many of Kentucky's rural communities were ruled by honor and family pride, not by law. A time when feuds on the Kentucky frontier were settled with violence and blood. Some of these feuds have been the stuff of legend, like the one that erupted on Kentucky's border with West Virginia, here along the Tug Fork River that divides the states. Some say it all started in 1878, in a valley like this one, when Randall McCoy of Pike County accused Floyd Hatfield of West Virginia of stealing one of his hogs. It set off tensions between the two families that were often fueled by family gatherings and whiskey here in these Appalachian Hills. One argument over a debt of $1.75 led to the killing of a McCoy. A revenge attack led to three more deaths. On August 29, 1887, Nat Hatfield wrote a letter warning the McCoys. We have been told by men from your county that you and your men are fixing to invade this county for the purpose of taking the Hatfield boys. We have no particular pleasure in hanging dogs, but we know you and have counted the miles and marked the tree. Finally, on January 1st, 1888, the Hatfields took matters into their own hands. They traveled across the Tug Fork River, surrounded one of the McCoys' houses, and set it on fire. Then, they shot the McCoys as they ran from the flames. When Sarah McCoy tried to protect her daughter, she was beaten so severely that her skull was crushed. Miraculously, she survived and testified against the Hatfields here at the Pike County Courthouse in Pikeville in 1889. Spectators crowded in, hoping to get a glimpse of the bloodthirsty mountain desperados. The jury sentenced eight of the Hatfields to life, but it was a man named Ellison Mounts who got the death penalty for killing Sarah McCoy's daughter. The Hatfield-McCoy feud got a lot of press at the time, which is a big reason why it became the stuff of frontier legend, even though killings like these were common across eastern Kentucky after the Civil War. But despite the backwoods violence that flared across the Appalachians, Kentucky was still seen as a land of liberty, and always had been. <laughs>